I hear the fans screaming, but I don't see them. It's like a blur. Every second, I'm constantly thinking about the game plan. Don't stand there too long. Double jab, go around them. Make a miss, faint them. Teddy, he's here for the right reasons, and I know that. I was taught from my father what a professional was. Being ready. Being ready for anything that might come about. You know, I didn't trust this business anymore. The last time I had been in it, I thought I did a pretty good job, and they didn't keep their commitment. So the only way I could be sure that that would never happen again was not train anybody again. But my daughter, she said, uh, that you're a teacher. Give yourself a chance to teach again. Timothy Bradley, with all his success, all his great success, is saying, show me something. It ignited something in me. I remember what it was to be a teacher again. Teddy takes it all on his shoulders. It's his job as a trainer to get me ready for what I'm about to see. And if he gets me ready, then I should be successful in the room. There's a psychological dimension to it, that your fighter has to be mentally ready to deal with all those physical things that are gonna come about. It's a tough environment inside that place. Great coach, they can inspire their athletes. They can pump them up to do what they're asking them to do, because we need that as a competitor. The purity of teaching again, away from all the crap, away from all the other parts of the sport. He wanted me to bring up my level of concentration. You're in combat, you're in war. Everything that you've trained to do in the ring, everything that you've thought about, and everything that you've worked on and that you believe in, it always comes back to you, man, when you need it.